Okay, so what have we got here, Steve? A prototype pendant that I'm working on. Um, if you look at the fly-out pendant, which is on uh, on the screen here, this thing in my hand mimics an awful lot of the functions, but is very easily user programmable by me. Right. So, uh, for example, if I want to select my MPG, manual pulse generator, to be on the A axis, I would hit that button there. It comes up on the A axis and shows me a telltale that it's on there. If I want the X axis, I would hit that one. A Y, Z, A. Another thing is I'm using the mouse now on the screen and I can select around like this and all the mimics follow it on the pendant as well. Mm -hmm. One other thing, I can unplug it completely. Which is that, it's unplugged. Yep. I can go in there and I can change everything around on here that I like. Do what I like, Any anything that I've picked up on it. I can take the plug. Uh, if I can find the right polarity, plug it back in. And we're up and running. And you're up and running again. So there we go. Okay. And it's it's picked up automatically everything. So by using four of the machines, inputs and outputs in total, yep. you can run up to sixteen. On this particular example, well, I've had um, I've had sixty-four inputs and outputs running on it. So sixty-four. So you can have a whole mass of ancillary equipment Absolutely. And limits and um, I wouldn't use it for very time critical stuff. It's certainly brilliant for the pendant and brilliant for a big machine panel controls. You could use it for switching motors on and off, for example, uh, in non-time critical things. Yeah. Um, you could switch solenoids on and off with it. Anything that's non-time critical. Okay. And what was this other thing looking like a motor? Um, well, I'm that's rather I'm rather uh, loath to show that one because as I say it's all prototypey. Well, that is my MPG at the moment. We can't actually see it at the moment. So I'm not sure that is my MPG at the moment, which is uh, part of a gutted printer. Right. So it's the old motor out of one of the old HP printers, which happens to have a 500 line, I think it is, encoder on the back. So it gives me my quadrature. So if I put that on the X axis, which it is at the moment, and I wind this, it is now moving okay. the X axis, as yeah, you can see. Look better if we saw the machine. Well, no, you can read out on the on the on the uh, position of the. It's fairly small on the screen. Okay. Let's just see the machine running. Okay, same again. So x-axis is moving there in response to the pendant. Okay, lovely. If you reach around behind you on the bench there, it will eventually be replaced by something on. So it's all in in a state of flux at the moment in development but it will be replaced by home built um he's fairly pushing the technical expertise well, I, I was, here, I was going to go and grab it actually if you want to grab it okay no uh, there'll be a huge crash i'm looking at the wrong one that's not a good start. yeah the one with the yellow one with the yellow in the middle okay if you'd like to pass it to me 